Hello everyone, welcome to 20 Minutes Till Dawn, a game by Flan, Flané, Lanny? Choose your own pronunciation. Uh, this is a game that came out in early access today as the time of recording and is billed as a cross between Vampire Survivors and Enter the Gungeon. And so I don't really need any more explanation than that to get me taking a look. So we're just gonna hit play here. We can only play as Shana, HP 3, can reroll upgrades once per level, revolver damage 20, projectiles 1, reload time 1, fire rate 4, max ammo 0, 06. A trusted balanced weapon. Alright, we have no runes, we have nothing to take, so let's just jump in and see what our core gameplay is. Standard mode, 20 minute survival, quick play mode, faster XP, 10 minute survival, Darkness, survive to unlock darker challenges. All right, standard mode, darkness zero. Let's see what we're working with. All right, top down. All right, two shots to kill these things. Unlimited ammo, but six shots to a clip. We run faster when we're not firing. Very worth knowing. That tree is looking at me. So we literally have a 20 minute timer up in the corner. I can only imagine how things are gonna change as we work up towards that 20 minutes or down towards that 20 minutes. Top of the screen, I see it says level one. that green bar yes that green bar is expanding with kills it seems or at least a certain number of kills but everything seems reasonably under control right now that's new that's exploding question is is it harming the other foes as much as it is us right click is not doing anything for me space bar doing nothing for me Can't get to those exploding ones in the middle. I'd love to see if they could take out a bunch of these guys for me. Let's not get caught in that gap. Don't get the exploding guys in the middle. The beats are bumping in the background. And I already just feel like... Okay, the explosions do work in our favor. Is that experience on the ground? Should I be picking this stuff up? Oh my god. The things that I didn't understand. Right. Choose an upgrade. Dragon egg. Summons an egg that will hatch into a dragon in three minutes. Light weaponry. Summon a magic dagger that seeks out nearby enemies. Magic dagger deals as much damage as your bullets. Glare. Vision range plus 25%. All enemies within your vision range take 5 damage every 2 seconds. Electro Mage. On every second shot, call down lightning to strike a nearby enemy for 22 damage. Holy Shield. A Holy Shield protects you from damage once. The Holy Shield regenerates in 2 minutes after breaking. I mean, honestly, give me the Dragon Egg, right? And give me all of this experience that I should have been taking sooner. Yeah, now that I know how that works, that's important. Pyromage, your bullets have a 50% chance to inflict burn for 3 damage per second. Pick up range, magnetism range pick up 30%. Power shot, bullet damage 25%, knockback 20%, holy shield, or trained dragon. Your dragon gains 10% attack speed every 60 seconds. This ability works even if your dragon is still in the egg. Well, give me that. I'm going all in on dragon. I just don't want to get hit again. Oh god, oh god. Yep, that was close. I kinda wish my dragon timer was displayed somewhere. But let's just gather a bunch of XP. 
I'm in a terrible spot right now. Frost Mage, your bullets have a 35% chance to inflict freeze for 3 seconds. Boss enemies are only affected by freeze for 0.3 seconds. Thanks for giving me the heads up about bosses, I guess. Magic Lens, summon a magic lens that gives all bullets that pass through it 30 plus 30% damage and size. This bonus is increased by your summon damage. Aged Dragon, your dragon gains 8 damage every 60 seconds this ability. Just give me more dragon stuff, honestly. And more explosives. I'm enjoying these explosives. What is that green light on the ground over there? I have no idea. Now, three minutes for a dragon to hatch is a long freaking time, isn't it? Right, I really want to curve around more towards where all the XP I left behind me was. Uh, hello, you've got a big red aura and I don't like it. Your boss enemy, perhaps? I just want the big explodey guys to be in the middle and to get shot, which is kind of not how that's going to work. Uh, did the tree hit me? Or was there a foe hiding behind the tree? I'm not sure. Come on, dragon. Call me Gothdarius Targaryen. Alright, we've got more explody guys. We must have got our first upgrade about a minute in, right? So we're coming up on that three minutes, surely. Also, where is the rest of all the experience that exists in this universe? And can I attack trees? I can attack trees. I don't know to what benefit, though. Are you, like, full of XP, perhaps? Well, the other two upgrades that we've had for increasing the strength of our dragon should hopefully mean that when it does hatch, we're going to be laughing. We've leveled up again. Haste, move speed plus 20%, fire rate plus 5%. That seems great. Vitality max plus 1. That seems great. Holy shield we've seen before. Magnetism we've seen before. Quick hands, reload rate, fire rate plus 5%. I'm just going to take the movement speed upgrade. Because soon our dragon is going to be able to do so much of our work. I hope. If this dragon turns out to be, like, super underpowered, we're going to have problems. There's more experience for us. Keep dodging. Oh, God. Oh, God. Yeah, that was bad. Hello. But have I reached the edge perimeter? Our dragon is out. Oh, okay. Uh, maybe a boss relating to the perimeter that we've now gained, and we're dead. Alright, well, we gained a lot of information there. So, from the top, do we unlock anything in the hub? No. We can manually reload on R. That's important, I suppose. I want to know if I can destroy a tree for, like, maybe a bunch of XP, or if something else is hiding inside them. They are watching me as I go by. So I guess, in part, we want to be going in a big circle. And then, on the lap, we can collect all the XP we've caused to drop, right? Right, first level, power shot, damage and knockback, fire rate, quick hands, double shot, plus one projectile, spread 15, bullet damage minus 10%. I'm going to try glare. Vision range plus 25%. All enemies within your vision range take five damage every two seconds. I've got no idea how that's going to relate to like what their foe's total HP is. For these guys, it seems to be 40.
So we'd have to finesse quite a tight line to get a lot of these guys in our area of effect. Which is obviously a very risky game. But we're going to get a bunch of XP as we swing by here. Right. Vision range plus 25%. Damage from glare is doubled. Yes, just give me more good stuff. So it seems when we get an unlock, that right-hand side shows a series of upgrades that are then put into the pool for having received the initial upgrade. Which is nice. It adds to the possibility that you're going to come across synergies which I approve. I looked in the settings before we got started and it's pretty bare bones in there. I turned the audio down a bit. Was on the loud side, but I didn't see like a gamma or a brightness setting there, which might just be intentional for how the game is displayed. Summon a magic dagger that seeks out nearby enemies. Magic dagger deals as much damage as your bullets. Move speed, pyromage, power shot, and magic lens. Give me this magic blade. That's... Actually, no, reroll me, see if I can find something about my vision. Speed, magnetism, fire rate, sight magic. Is that this? That's one of them. Uh, vision range plus 15%. The damage from glare also applies to the on-hit effects of your bullets. Sure, let's just go all in on that. I think there's like a a semi-universal knockback when we come out of the level up screen. Just to kind of give you some breathing room after it happens, which is also a nice touch. Make our escape. But yeah, clearly, whatever that boss was that spawned in around... 16 minutes? Oh god, get me out of that. Just go get me some XP. There's got to be more XP around. Look at all that XP. Give it to me. Put it in my veins. Double shot. Power shot. Take aim. Bullet speed plus 30%. Spread minus 15. Quick hands. And holy shield. Give me double shot. So the bullets are doing 18 damage now, but our sight is doing, like, the extra little bit that we need it to to mop up the small piece of damage that we aren't inflicting because we took a penalty. And it's meaning that we're able to cut through the crowds a bit better, which is also resulting in... Being able to fire through to the explosive guys, which is great for the crowd control. And another level. Choose an upgrade. Take aim. Magnetism. Electromage. Split fire. Shoot an additional bullet behind you. Fan fire. When shooting your last ammo, also shoot 10 additional bullets in a circle for around 15% damage. That doesn't seem great to me. Honestly, I'm going to take Magnetism now. And hope that I can parlay that into extra upgrades more quickly. There's like a so-so upgrade now. For more better upgrades later. Double Shot seems to be doing a lot of good work for us though. Let's try and take out some of this crowd with the explosives. Very good. Man, kind of lose all sense of how far you've done running laps. Level 7. Fan fire. We've seen before. Pyromage. Split fire. Shoot a bullet behind you. Recharge. Pickup range plus 20%. Every XP pickup has a 10% chance to refill one ammo. Watch and learn. Pickup range plus 15%. Vision range plus 25%. Give me more vision range. Because more vision range is going to synergize with our other abilities. 
would like to get rid of that red guy, but we're having no particular success with that. I wonder which circle actually qualifies as our vision range, because obviously there's the most bright bit in the center, and then the darker edged pieces around that. Coming down towards 15 minutes, we might expect that fence and mini boss to arrive soon. Last time we had extra speed that we now don't have. Can we make a rush round? There's a chest! I want the chest! Give it to me. Shana Ascension. Three Halo pieces can now appear as upgrade choices. Collect all three to recover Shana's Halo. Alright. Well, that means we're going to want to upgrade as fast as possible, at least three times more. We do have rerolls as our core ability. Was it the red guy that we killed and that dropped the chest? That would make a good amount of mechanical sense. Right, shards. Halo piece number two. I'll take it. Please, oh god, don't forget to reload. Right, this guy, we just have to get out of his way as he passes us. If I could kill him and just get this fence gone, I'd be really grateful. Yeah. Please die. I don't know if that extra smoke coming out of him is showing that he's been damaged or what. Um, Halo piece number three. We're invested now. Oh god. Yeah, we weren't getting through that hole. Maybe I should have fired some more. Again! Man, it, like, six minutes feels like the longest time in the history of the world. But I'm really enjoying just, like, the... Almost the, the grind that this 20 minutes presents. Like, unlike something like Gungeon, this is a little less fast-paced, like, especially... As you're firing, your movement speed is declined. And that increases the danger, but obviously not firing is even more dangerous still. But there's still lots of upgrades we haven't seen. I think the, uh, the marketing blurb said that there's about 50 different upgrades to get. I don't know if that's 50 initial upgrades that then have sub-upgrades that come out of their trees, or not. I can't remember if I said it off the top that I got a code for this game, but if I didn't say it at the top, I'm saying it now. I did get code for this. Um, what are we doing? Frost Mage. Your bullets have a 35% chance to inflict freeze for three seconds. Summon a magic dagger, haste, take aim, or glare. I liked Glare, especially early. Next time, given the option, I will probably take some movement speed if it's not direct Glare synergy. And we need to figure out what's up with these trees, man. Get the explosive. Let's make our way around to some XP. Yeah, this game is in early access. I went over to the Steam page, and if this looks like fun to you, it's like $3 at the moment, I think. It came out in early access today. They ex said they expect the early access to last one to two months, I think, so not a hugely long period of time, but we can expect some little bits of new content, some balance changes and the like. As always, there is a link in the description for the Steam page. 1 HP, Haste, Electromage, Dragon Egg is back, and Holy Shield. Right, let's take the Haste. I'm 
just gonna plow into a tree for a second. I want to know. Except I'm gonna move now, and I'm gonna lose that tree. I'll never see that tree again. Bit explosive, please. Thank you. Oh god. It's when they come spawning in in like a curved line. That you kind of have to anticipate as you go. Frost Mage, Magic Lens, Vitality. What do we get on the upgrades? Increase bullet damage and fire rate by 50% when you get hit. This bonus lasts for 15 seconds. Max HP plus 2. Character size plus 50%. Movement speed minus 16%. Heal 1 energy every 90 seconds. There's double shot and there's sight magic again. Oh, I don't want to build the same build I had last time, but we already got the extra speed. Let's take double shot. Double shot did us good. Also, the bosses are much larger targets, so. It's going to make getting through the bosses far more efficient, I hope. Go on, get the, get the lit ones. Thank you. Love to see it. Get, get exploded. Right. There was a huge, yeah, huge patch of XP over here. Right. Electro Mage, Rapid Fire, Magnetism, Intense Glare, and Take Aim. Hey, what, give me Rapid Fire. Oh, yes. I'm excited to unlock some more characters and starting weapons and see how things compare with alternate characters to build other builds and other strategies. But just as like a, a very early proof of concept, I'm having a great time already. More glare, power shot, blazing speed, move speed 10%, inflict burn on nearby enemies as you run. The effect occurs more often the faster you move. All right, that can go alongside our glare as we run little orbits around these guys. And we want to kill the leader as fast as possible because I believe that was where the chest came from previously. Oh god, get me out of here. Yeah. Right, well, there's heaps of XP. Did not get all of it, but there will be more. And we can just explode more. About to pass 16 minutes. I expect the other mini boss to spawn at 15. If I can make it so that there is not too many bosses on the board at the same time, I'd be grateful. Although, I'm not actually sure that this first guy represents any kind of significant specific threat to me. There's the chest. It's the Ascension piece again. I'll take you up on it. And we level up immediately, but I don't know if I just got hit in that moment. Bullets bounce plus one, range plus 10%, bullet damage minus 10%. All right. I'll take you up on that. Oh, look at the XP. Good times. Right, we have to do this halo piece thing, right? Although, vitality first, halo pieces later, perhaps. Especially with the other boss incoming. But with the rubber bullets working up into the crowd, it's going to be much easier, I think. And we currently just have a lot of space. Now, with the other boss coming in, I want to move up somewhat because the pen he creates, I want to have as much of my own XP that's already dropped in it. Holy Shield, Pyromage, Frost Mage, Quick Hands, 
Halo piece one. Let's take quick hands first, then maybe we'll go Halo pieces soon. Keep an exit available. There goes the extra HP that we got earlier. We should really move on angles when this guy is trying to attack us. I wonder if, like, the trees are actually a way to heal if you destroy them. They have HP in them or something, but they just have loads of HP of their own. But right now, I would just love some more HP of my own. No, that guy, man. I need to dodge better. Again. We'll get at least past that second boss today. Maybe we'll take some of this mage stuff this time. But there's a whole load of builds that I already want to experiment with in my head. And already I'm wondering, like, okay, so how quickly should I expect to be at level one? How quickly should I expect to be at level two? And so on and so forth. What else do we have? Power shot, bullet damage and knockback, holy shield, double shot, take aim, magic lens. What do we get after power shot? Enemies explode into three bullets when killed. These bullets deal 10% damage. Reaper rounds, big shot. Bullet damage plus 35%, bullet size plus 40%, fire rate minus 16%. Alright, I'll take just bigger, stronger bullets for now. Certainly going to help with bosses, because they're going to be where a lot of this damage just gets sunk in faster. If we could get double shot with this, I'd be pretty happy. Uh, don't see double shot. Glare... We've done Frost Mage, 35% chance to inflict freeze, reload and fire rate, big shot, bullet damage plus 35%, bullet size plus 40%, ghost friend? Summons a ghost friend that shoots piercing bullets for 22 damage. I mean, big shot is nice, but a ghost friend is lovely. And the fact that those bullets just pierce in a straight line is pretty damn great let's get some space here try as I might we will move into wards the XP as it drops rather than just running away from it forever that corner looks particularly fruitful now All right, big shot, take aim, bullet speed plus 30%, double shot. Got to be double shot, hasn't it? Just watch our foes melt. Make sure we don't get caught up. On level five, give it to me, yes. Speed, Glare, Pyromage, 50% chance to burn, Magnetism, and In Sync. Summon damage, plus 15%. Summon attack speed, plus 15 Your ghost friend now sh shoots towards where you aim. Alright. I should have gone probably with the movement speed, but now... My little ghost friend. We all call him Casper. Not after the friendly ghost, but... In D&D, I play a Warlock Hexblade, and one of the Hexblade features is that when your foes die, you can summon their corpses as a spectre to fight alongside you, and that spectre is called Casper in my game. Now, that spectre might be named after the friendly ghost, but this ghost is named after my Casper. Yes, 
All the XP. All the XP. Thank you. There's another dragon egg. Fanfire. Magic lens. Light weaponry. Frost mage. Fanfire. When shooting your last ammo, also shoot 10 additional bullets in around you. Magic lens. Summon a magic lens that will give all bullets that pass through it plus 30% damage and size. This bonus is increased by your summon damage. All right, let's give that a go because we have extra summon damage now. Obviously, we're incentivized to shoot in the direction of the lens, but it's not always a perfect fit. That was a great set of explosions there. I approve. There must be a level in here for us, right? There's a mini boss, that's for sure. Not get caught out. Uh, that's close, we're okay. Right, energetic friends. Summon attack speed plus 50%. Haste, refraction. Bullets that pass through your magic lens gain plus two bounce. Vengeful ghost. Your summon damage plus 15%. Your ghost friend shoots two additional projectiles. I think we're going to go with... Ven uh, I'm going to take the movement speed as like the higher primary thing to concern myself with. But the rest of stuff looks very, very cool. What we need to do is get that mini boss dead. I think that was it. I think I saw an arrow hit the ground. There it is. Because we want that before we start taking more and more upgrades to try and get these three halo pieces. That was fast. No halo pieces on offer. Rapid fire plus 25%. Refraction, holy shield, vengeful ghost, or take aim. Give me the vengeful ghost. Having more bullets can only be good, right? There's so much XP over here. I think we've kind of exhausted the really big zones of XP that I've laid around. Although we're probably making them as fast as I can collect them. As he says that, he finds a nice puddle of XP. Holy Shield, Take Aim, Halo Piece, Vitality, and Refraction. Let's take Refraction. In an ideal world, we would travel in a circle matching the movement of our lens. In a realistic world, it's just going to be nice when they happen to line up with one another. really good is when our spread is reasonably confined we can one shot these standard brains all right 15 minutes coming up i expect the other mini boss to be here Right, and level up right on time. Blazing speed. Move speed plus 10% inflict burn on enemies. I think for this guy that's about to spawn, blazing speed sounds like a great asset. There he is. Move out of his way. We did not move fast enough, and we got double wrecked, and I'm sad about it. I would really like is for these mini bosses to have health bars just to give me hope if nothing else fresh level though vitality the easy choice hey we got him can this pen please go away I'd really appreciate that if this pen is here for the remainder of the game I would be a little bit shook. It's a pentagram. 
Choose an upgrade. Tome of Elasticity. Bullet bounce plus two. Bullet damage t minus 25. Max HP minus one. Our max HP has gone up one already. Tome of the Elements. Bullet damage minus 50%. Increase burn damage, lightning damage, and freeze duration by 35%. Tome of Summoning. Summon damage plus 50%. Summon attack speed plus 50%. Reload rate minus 50%. I mean, our ghost is doing great work for us. So let's go in on Tome of Summoning and hope this gate falls. The gate did not fall. The gate has fallen. I'm so grateful. Um, summon attack speed 50%. We need that now that we have gone kind of all in on our summon doing more attacking than we are. Uh, we've got new things firing red blobs around at us. At least we have more room to maneuver now. Let's see if we can go get back a bunch of this XP we missed out on previously. For a second, I got scared about my own targeting reticle threatening to attack me. Clearly, I'm just paranoid about what lies in the shadows. Like that guy. Oh, God. Alright, can I get some more HP, please? Fan fire is not what I need. In the wind. Increase bullet damage and move speed by 10% every 10 seconds, max 40%. This bonus resets when you get hit. Sure, our ghost is doing more attacking for us anyway. I just want to know if I can destroy a freaking tree. We're never going to find out. Oh, but these bullets, these ghost bullets, man. They go. And they keep going. That's the really great part. We're so fast now. Alright, there's got there has to be like hordes of XP. Just waiting for me to mop it up, right? Case in point. Okay, level's taking much longer to reach now. Increase damage rate when you get hit. This is no interest to me whatsoever. Reload rate plus 20%, fire rate plus 5%, fan fire on last bullet, frost mage, and pyro mage. Give me reload rate plus 20% because we lost a bunch of reload rate earlier, and that is going to be a benefit to us in that we can then get some of that back. So, I'll take the quick hands. Still, our ghost is going to be doing most of our work. But we can contribute a little bit more. Oh, God. Alright, that was unpleasant. Deeply, deeply unpleasant. I would like to loop back for all that XP, but I can't imagine the crowd that is now sitting over there. Ah! Caught out. Alright, well, that is where this is going to end for today, but there's going to be plenty more of this, I assure you. I'm having a great time. If you are enjoying this game, you can find a link to it down in the description below. It just came out in early access and there's going to be lots of new and fun stuff, I'm sure. But for now, thank you guys ever so much for watching. If you're enjoying the series, please do consider subscribing or hitting that like button. If you have any questions or comments, you can put those down below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.